Hello everyone and welcome to a new series I'm gonna try and do potentially called Random Play. It's basically uh, if I feel like record or well I am gonna basically be doing uh, if I feel like recording I will record games that I usually play uh, in my spare time just jumping right into where I'm playing it and just doing random videos for that potentially works I don't know I'll see if I if it turns out good when I do it or if I'm feeling like recording something and it's not one of the two main series that I'm currently doing and so I'm gonna try I'm gonna I haven't played Outlast I've seen through the whole game plus whistleblower so I know stuff about it but I don't know I don't remember everything but I'm gonna be playing it because it's I, I think it's a good game of what I remember seeing it it's a good game and I'm I haven't played many horror games uh, it's not necessarily my my, my genre per se uh, depending on how it plays but Outlast doesn't do a lot of like jump scares like very cheap just popping just pops in your face and so I can tolerate it um, so yeah some things I'm gonna know and some you know the most scary things is just you gonna be having to avoid stuff is basically it so I'm gonna just go in a fucking new game and go with it so, so like I'm gonna experience the game now at least in the beginning some other games I will just continue on and just do a more casual thing so now I, I might be doing more uh, jump cuts or whatnot in the video, but we'll see. This dude, like, immediately in the beginning, he should just be like, fuck this shit, bye. Like, come on. Investigating an asylum is never a good idea. Alright, well. Seemingly the... The reception here is not very great, <clears throat> apparently. I don't know, it's an impressive building at least. And here we have my documents, a lot of paper. September 17, 2013. Subject, TIP, illegal activity at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. You don't know me. How to make this quick? They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric uh, uh, yeah, Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs. I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. <laughs> Terrible things happen there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors were talking about dream therapy going too deep, finding something that have been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkov is making money. It needs to be exposed. Fucking hell. <laughs> Alright. This dude was just like, yeah, let me do that. Seems like a good idea. Alright, not sure what you we're zooming in there for but whatever dude whatever do what you wish yeah also the the these videos there it's not it's not a you know a setting stone okay objects of the th updated in tab continue your notes and and pick up documents j so i have whistleblower documents oh oh it's a whistleblower document okay interesting that's oh no it might be called that because the DLC is called the whistleblower <laughs> so I thought it might be connected to that one but that would be weird so I'm guessing it's just because the whistle whistleblower is a term obviously and you have N for notes I don't have any notes in tab we have <laughs> notes and documents all right stop doing that sound effect Jesus <laughs> All right, either the gates were supposed to do that automatically, or it just triggers when you turn around. I don't fucking know, but that's pretty interesting. All right, so can I not go in it? There we go. Fucking hell. 
Oh, she's right. Yeah, I recognize also that this dude, like, when he crouches, he crouches. Like, whoa. He goes all the way to the ground when he crouches. But I guess that's fair. So, what was it? Right to bring up the camcorder, yeah. I think there was to open a door quickly, press left mouse button to open a door slowly, hold down. Okay. Okay, right. Press recorded adding a note in your notebook. Okay. I'm starting to feel sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkov Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than lost signal. Yeah, it seems like that happened with the radio as well. Murkov Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never in American but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. It might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. I mean, you seem to be very very uh adamant of uh, All right, well, hello to there, dude. I see you. Maybe another one. All right, so there's definitely movement in here. And these are, um, by the way, this is not surprising to me. <coughs> oh, Jesus, very interesting that the game tells me tells me to run. I guess there is nothing to run unless, you know, but I doubt it. These are military vehicles, by the way. I obviously know that they are. I know what happened. I remember that much of the game, but you know. Let's call. Okay, I can't call them. Can I open the door? Sure, shit can. Alright, so pressing. Is it toggle to run? No, it's not. So it's pressing. Oh, it's, it's dangling. Alright. It's pressing to ram the door, I'm guessing. Then, if you're running, you need to get it. Uh, you need to, like. Um, Open quickly, that is. We would know the door. We open this one. Jesus. Not trying to be, uh. What hell? That's. Was there something? No. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah, I can't record it. Like. Climbs ladders, makes sense. Oh, he does an automatic forward jump. It's nice to know. I wonder if the game would be more, <coughs> oh, more um, scary or whatnot if it uh, just was quiet instead. All right, well. Just need to activate my night vision. Oh my god. Night vision is terrible. I thought I was gonna be able to see stuff, but nope. I will not be able to see stuff. No, I don't know. Mm, this, no, that's not something. Man, this. I can't see shit, dude. Terrible. Oh, dude, that sound effect. That's the same sound effect that you... There's a uh, there's a board game called Cl uh, Cluedo or something. I guess you pronounce it in English. Um, where you, you know, you, you probably know of the game. And there was a... There's like a computer version of the game uh, that I... Alright. Sure, I recognize that sound effect as well, but I'm unsure why that came at the same time that they... No, that, that, that was just... It doesn't even make sense, really. Uh, so, that was just jump scare, <laughs> for no reason. Uh, not much fan of that, but alright. Uh, but there's a computer game of the game Cluedo, and... Um, and... 
when you like no wait a minute no that's not the game wait a minute which game am i thinking of or maybe it is cluedo i don't fucking remember there's a computer there is a computer game of cluedo at, l at least there's something there no it's just busted mm, at least so um and when you switch between rooms that's the door sound that's uh, gets played we can all right three out of ten batteries cool 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 they be able to oh yeah well this dude is nimble or well or small i don't know oh blood air no not the best maybe okay someone was talking documents what might this be work of psychi psy psy trick Ah, oh, fucking no. that's an annoying word there uh this is of a patient apparently therapy status patient claims to have progressed to self-directed loose dream states morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale continuing stage four hormone schedule diagnostics spirometry revealed no bron bronchial accumulation ema oh, for fuck's sake uh ema to ema to i'll fucking know these words actually jesus centrifuge again failed to separate whatever the fuck it says Irith erythrocytes maybe highly worrisome i don't know what the fucking medical words are mri revealed arrhythmic rem slash nrem i don't know what nrem is but i know rem is rapid eye movements it might be non-rapid eye movement cycle laughter in nrem state interesting Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkov in the asylum. This represents a catastrophic. <coughs> Goddamn coughs, Jesus. Uh, got a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. I recognize that name, I think. Note the only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger. Jesus Christ. Hold on. Still needs cough sometimes, Jesus. Claims that he, uh, the only trigger, uh, his rich trigger is an ex executive, executive from MRD. And ordl all orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video, ga video game, video security improved to include uh, analytical biometrics. Uh, and then it's just signed. Alright. Oh, cool. All right. Sure, someone locked the door. That's I like that touch when he like puts his hand there. Can do. All right, interesting. Oh, we're gonna need to do bleeding from the hmm, spider webs. Nice. Alright, sure. Like the beginning of the game, I'm not gonna be super surprised at what happens because I know of what's gonna happen. For example, <laughs> this door right here. Ooh. <laughs> Fucking Christ, really. Alright. I don't know, I guess it was my character screaming. That was the most thing, because I don't remember the that he screamed. Because I never really played the game, but I remember that music you can stop now. I'm not. <laughs> I'm over it, alright? Come on, please. For the love of God, you can stop with your super intense music. I know he's like. I guess the whole situation is supposed to be scary still or whatnot. Okay. They killed us! They got out! The, the very. Okay. You can't fight them. 
You have to hide. You can unlock the main doors. Run security control. I mean, you. I wonder how. Get the fuck out of this I wonder how he's still alive. All right, well, you know he's dead now, though. But like, I wonder how he's still alive, still. Like, how long must he have been alive? Oh, I should probably not use so much of the. Hello. Oh, I have to. Is the game finding like? I don't know why sound effects are happening. Yes, I know the battery is low. Hello. Oh, the fuck. Oh, really? It's apparently it's uh, all right. Apparently, dark as crap down in there. So I can't do anything there. Well, even though I know this game, it's probably gonna make me, uh, you know, anxious. In <laughs> at parts, honestly, just because the the game is very well set up in that way. All right, well, I know this part as well. Here's the deal, though. We have all this. Where the fuck is he supposed to come from? I don't even know. Little faith. Like, not even. I don't. I don't even. Where where the fuck was he supposed to come from? Oh, all right. Sure. Because now, now the scary part begins, kind of. And who are you, then? I fucking know. Who are you? <laughs> Come on, like, really? Who are you to ask questions? I... I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. I mean, no. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. I think you fit in the second game more, because that was all about the religious people, but... You know. Also, this game also, you know, it, in the beginning it becomes scary, but at some at some point, pro pro proclaim the gospel. Okay, skip this. So, oh, skip the asylum. Uh, okay, fine. What was this? Hmm. Access security control to unlock the main doors. That's not gonna happen ever. That would be too easy. So I know the story-ish, sort of. I know what did this, kind of. I don't fucking remember exactly who, but you know. Uh, or what. Sort of. Uh, by the way, I think I connect... Yeah, notes. I'm inside. Did he? Was that, or was that maybe something that I... Wait, what? Was that the... Uh, no? Okay, no, no, this is the one. I think this is the, the one. Yeah. Was this the one that I just got then? I'm inside, bodies everywhere, blood, burn marks. As, yes. Seemingly, yeah. Heads lined up like balls behind a bar. Dead Murkov scientists hung from the ceiling. Their badges say Murkov Advanced Research System. It's Murkov's longtime MO has been to profit of the exploitation of suppo supposed charity fuck the third world and bankrupt another billion how did Murkov think they would make money off a building full of crazed people there's some kind of tactical co cop <laughs> some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a spit tells me to get the fuck out and then dies would have been a good thing to hear when I could s still leave this the way I came I mean you should have thought about that before Oh yeah, I picked up the the document. Project Wall Rider patient status report from William Hope. Project Wall Rider. That was the thing that was called, yeah. Billy. Age 19. Well, sees. Alright. He was the Project Wall Rider. Billy. Uh, seeming going insane in his sleep. I need to look up what the fuck NREM stands for because I don't know. Uh, should probably have this out again. Thank you. I like the way it picks up the documents. It's just like joint. Thank you. <laughs> Give me that. 
Pretty well right. Patient status report for Chris Walker. Oh, yeah, I know that. I know that name. Chris Walker. <clears throat> Console, uh, initial date, yeah, 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 32. Male observing physician, Dr. Rudolf Wernick. Notable by Dr. Walsh. Morphogenic engine activity plateau plateaued at roughly 2000 ppm. Unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule diagnostic. Sp spirometry revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation MRI scans consistent with patient's re reported dreams. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self inflicted mutilations. Restraints have to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experience with uh, fucking Altara lizards and their parietal eyes. Seemingly things of, you know, the thir third eye that usually is on your fucking forehead. That's what comes to my mind, at least. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh. <laughs> anxiety about his flesh. Specifically around his lips and nose. What the fuck does that mean? Pending orderlies should have advice, should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas have he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be ripped. Retarding progression. Okay, interesting. Of the ME process. His pro prodimin, uh, predominant fixation amplified by therapy is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. The continuation of both chemical and physical restraint is highly recommended. <coughs> okay. Well, Chris Walker uh, being large in size and being why do I need to peek again? Like, the game likes to give you these things which makes you think that you might need them. Oh well, I guess that's kind of a uh, thing. Yeah, I guess I'll just go here. There's the things everywhere. Everywhere to go. He's not gonna do anything right now. <laughs> and then we have these people. Right, so I'm guessing notes then, yeah? Broken men and dead television. Wow, that's a short note. A crowd of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's... That they survived whatever happened here, but no, oh, but nobody's home. Okay, <laughs> that's what you meant. It's like, what? And it's three people. Doop 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 Nope Can't get any further than this Or, well, can I? Another dude here Unless he's completely dead Uh, he slumped over so seemingly Grab the security keycard Oh Anything behind the desk? Can I check? No, can't. <clears throat> In inventory, the keycard. Alright, so it just says inventory. Alright, fine. Uh, Alright, so here's the thing. I don't know if I'm... The fuck? Alright, well... I don't know what you, was your point there, mate, but... Uh... Okay, sure. Uh, Alright, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Does the key work on this door? Somehow, or well, it's a fucking security key. There needs to be a, a thing for it. 
to work. Uh, where the fuck was the door? There was the door. Anything interesting in here? Except for, you know, the... The fuck? What? <clears throat> Excuse you? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so apparently this corpse uh, counts as a as you know a platform which when I walk off he uh, kind of no okay no it's just why are you doing that then if it hurts what the fuck dude all right I don't see you have anything interesting on you no any batteries lying around oh documents thank you why is there so many fucking phones being just like not uh, answer or whatever. Warrant for seizure. Okay, interesting. <clears throat> Skim through this, maybe. Uh, we are satisfied that the. This many. Whatever. This is just like a information letter. Seemingly, yeah, so nothing interesting. Okay. Post my escape design access security control. No document. Where the fuck is security control? Note that you can look behind by holding Q or an E while running. It's very funny that the uh that lights being Yeah, okay. Very funny that the game actually says that and like yeah, you can do this, and you can... The fuck? Well, that doesn't help that they uh, sound like that. A yeah, security room. A yeah, security control, so seemingly here. Alright, dude. Why the fuck is there... Alright. Okay. Witness, yeah. Cool, cool. What did I write down? The witness. Wow, he had that much to say about that. I'm already beat all to hell. Picking broken glass out of my scalp. Couple cracked ribs. Not nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks like somebody tried to fuck start his head with a cheese grater. He throws me through a wall. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, no, not a wall. It was a window. Knocks me unconscious. I wake up as some dodgy old man with a face like an alcoholic key fiddler. <laughs> this dude is very savage in his descriptions. In a homemade priest outfit calls me his apostle. Mm, not a job I asked for. Well, you saw it for yourself, so. There are words uh, scrawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that the priest is writing them and for my benefit. I mean, that's what you mean. Well, actually, I don't fucking know what I meant with that by that, but. Alright, well, these dudes dead. Oh, battery. Okay. I mean that was not a yes that wasn't that panic. Uh you can hear by my voice potentially that I'm not panicking. It's just the fact that uh there was a tactical crouch. In case you know oh jeez. In case uh, you know something because I don't know remember every single detail of the beginning, alright? And in the late game I definitely don't fucking remember stuff, so we just hey, it's not actually gonna fucking matter peeking. Or like, hello, hello. I mean, something closed the door. That much is certain. I'm pretty sure there was uh, before. Oh yeah, here, here we go. Yeah, this is the part. Now, in the game. Wait a minute. Is there a way to? 
You can save and exit, you cannot save the game. They have checkpoints, but F5 is not saving, no. Let me close this door. That was not necessary. Dude. Alright, yeah, from this point onward, yeah, now, now the game begins. Uh, if we were to say, wait, what? Oh yeah, hide. Just click. Was there a way to... No, that might be in, uh, might be thinking of um, Alien Isolation, actually. <laughs> Where you can, like, shut the fuck up inside the closet. Or locker, or whatever. Not sure what the fuck you're typing there, dude, but... Alright, well... I'm not really sure how we timed that. But yeah, you do this basically. Hide in the locker, don't try to fight. Yeah. You won't be able to fight this dude. Not when he knows what he can do. You know, like that. <clears throat> Actually, I'm interested if you hi People always go for this locker of what I've seen. They always go for this locker first. I wonder what happens if you go in the other one instead. Does he just go to this one then? There's also a thing with games uh, or horror games or just scary stuff. That if you know your opponent or you know the monster, you can see it, you can identify it, it's less scary. In this in this case it's half and half really. <clears throat> Depending on how much experience you have. Uh, if you familiarize yourself with this dude, uh, it could become, you know, less uh, intense, so to speak. So, you know. Uh, yeah. I should probably fucking do this. No, 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 stop it. He is not here anymore. Interesting. I don't know where he went. Well, where the fuck was it going? Restart the generator in the basement. All oh, right. Yeah. That's uh, probably a good idea. Probably do this. Yeah. So yeah. So that big dude fucked off. And now we need to go down here. And here comes the. I, I played this game on the PS4. I don't own a PS4, but I played it on PS4 on my. on my friend's PS4 at some point because he had gotten it for free through PlayStation Plus, I think. Oh, here's an hiding spot. Let's read my document in the hiding spots. Not that it matters because it's paused anyways when I do this. M. Coltra? CIA Hypnotic Homicide? File 1954. Hypnotic experimentation and research work was continued in Building 13 of the Mount Massive Preserve in Colorado using the following subjects. Material abridged. Oh Jesus, this is um, two patients then. Two subjects, uh, so to speak. A post-hypnotic of the night before, pointed finger, you will sleep, was enacted. <coughs> okay. Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was then instructed, having previously experienced a fear of firearms in any fashion, that she would use every method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson, now in a deep hypnotic sleep, and failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. Oh, interesting. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. Two, Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions. Okay, no, it's just stages of things. Uh, carried out these suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol gun at Jackson and then proceeding to fall into deep sleep. Oh, okay, they didn't actually use a real gun. 
After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused, in an awakened state, to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute, absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. Alright. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, yet again, I don't know how, um, how much I will be playing, you know, of the game, and uh, I might not return to the game at all. Like, also few, like you know, other games as well. If I haven't played them uh, before, the wall press while moving towards waist high objects. Yeah. I'll try to. Who's there? I'm not sure if he's moving immediately now. That's gonna suck hard if he is. Because... You know... He's the first obstacle then. I remember. Because you basically... Yeah, you basically have to just fucking run and... Uh, pitch. Oh well, it's not gonna be pitch black when you... You know... I don't know where he is. Okay. Just open the door. Likely here, yeah. Here's the generator. Oh, there's a lot of lockers. Nice. I hear music. Let me hide. Oh, let's just assume he's outside now. I mean... Stop using these fucking sound effects, please. And that's when you hide. Because he will know you press the fucking button, because you would hear it. You would have heard it, I mean. Why is it shaking? The fuck? Because I know the big dude is not here. That's why I'm confused by it shaking. Why? Oh, here we go. Yeah. Unless he picks up the, this fucking locker, that would suck immediately. Is that how to run and just hope for the fucking best? He looked at one locker. Seemingly a random one. I don't know. Huh. Just another ghost, eh? Yeah, I'm not so sure about that, buddy. You're not as scary as the big dude because you're just a normal dude with a fucking pipe. Or whatever the fuck. Sure, you were gonna kill me either way, but you know, just from a playing perspective, you're not that scary. So let's just wait for you to actually fucking move. I don't know if there's more than one of these pumps, frankly. Uh. And you can't save scum, which would have made this uh, less scary. Because then you could have saved and just... What the fuck? I guess I'm gonna hide. Because I don't know why the fuck... Because I know that the big dude is not down here. But I wonder what the thumping is. Alright, whatever. I'm not gonna get any progress done by not doing anything. Let's just fucking hope the f to god that he's not, you know, close. Alright. So he was there. Stop doing these sound effects. Oh, well. He's right there, so. Can't see him because it's pitch black, so. That's nice. Alright. Let's see here, what the fuck, is there another pump? I'm guessing there is, I think he, yup. Oh, I think I'm doomed, maybe. I will be able to hear it. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Dude, really? I'll be doing this because you can still see him, sort of. Oh, for fuck's sake. Actually kidding me. Oh, 
fucking hell, dude. Alright, so I don't know. Hmm. I think my thing that I have to do is basically rush up to it, punch the button, and then try and. Alright, let's do this. Yolo, bitch. Okay, no. There is two. Thought so. Bye, Miss Dude. I'll be uh, reading for now. Reloading my batteries. And this is a difficult situation for uh, for me. And where you see now then, like. you want me to do a game uh, or well no let's do this actually when in doubt do suicide runs that's uh, that always works suicide runs are fun hello oh wow nice thank you for the batteries you know I don't think he will one shot me so I will have, you know, some kind of health. Oh, well, I'm doomed. Oh, boy! I don't... Oh, there is some way for me to hide, actually. Uh, I might be fucking... Oh, no. Maybe not. Or unless he just stayed there. You know, I don't know, I can't hear him, obviously, now, so... Not like the second game where you have, like, a um, sound thing that you can hear where their sounds are coming from. He moves so slow when he crouches, which doesn't surprise me, really. Hello, dude? Are you, where are you, dude? I don't know where you are. Mate, please, I don't know where you are. Oh, you're right there. Interesting. Oh, you have a baseball bat. Alright, fuck you, dude. Did you... Wow. I am... surprised... by... Uh, by your lack of vision, <laughs> frankly. That's... Uh... Are you running? Let me hide, just in case. It looked like he was... It really sounded like he was running. And... Yeah. Yeah, but here's the thing. There's the next pump. Is there anywhere for me to hide? Like, other than this? Because he might check this place. And if he does, then... Uh, that sucks. I'm gonna wait until he potentially goes in here because I think he did at one point. Well, it passed me there at least. Um, I guess I want to um, want to have as much time. I don't want to push the button when he, uh, you know, when he goes into the room. Oh, be annoying because now I have to run around and press the button and then run around and then hide. <laughs> I'd rather do this with minimal effort. All right. So, it's right there though, like eh. Alright, yeah, reload the battery. Go. Push the button. Fucking run, please. Thank you. Here we go. The dude is gonna show up and uh, hopefully not bash my face in with that. Baseball bat? Yeah, he didn't even have a, a pipe. Here's the deal. The strategy might even be to... Um... Oh, here we go. Is he gonna completely thrash me? Nope. 
Don't kill Thrash me. Alright, so next thing is he's seeming also very. Oh, well, it's pitch black anyway, so I guess as long as it doesn't make any noise, he's not gonna necessarily notice me. Uh, yeah. So, now he went there. He can't see me here, right? So, as he turns around. Ooh, ooh, you see me? I'm tempting fate here, really. Alright, so which way are you going? You're going that way. Why are you doing the fucking sudden noise things? I'm gonna have to. I'm sorry. What? No, 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 no. Wait, hold on. Yes, dude, I know that you're gonna turn on the. and the main breaker. I'm not your doctor, mate. This is what you call a suicide run. This is a. Yeah, I pressed this button. Oh, but oh. No, it's not Marco Polo, mate. Where. the main. Bra I pressed this as well, yeah? I'm dead. No, jeez, oh, I can take a lot of hits. Seemingly. I took, like. How many hits was that? The main. Bra I don't understand you. Take what? Oh no. <laughs> I was uh, slightly uh, stupid there. No, he can't get me here. Yeah. So, I'm guessing now here is a lot of Close this door, not that it matters. Okay, so I was. Uh, what? And the main breaker. Hey? Okay. What the fuck does that mean? Not super blind or deaf. Which way are you walking? Left. Alright, not that it matters, but alright, let me walk this way. Oh, wait. What? Excuse you? You fucking saw slash heard me? Interesting. Did not expect that. Alright, cool, cool. Uh, that gives me just. Alright, so I can't go there. There's nothing, basically. And here's the- I don't know, frankly. I have no clue. Can I do this? Just like- Ooh! I can! Wow! Oh. Alright, yeah, uh, they did, um, foresee you being able to do that. Hmm. Cool. I don't know what they want. Frankly, I- I'm, uh... I'm stumped, frankly. I don't know what they want from me. Kevin, you here? Oh, you can jump here. That's what it was. That's how I didn't know where to go. You could go here. Clever. <clears throat> My throat is dying. Not really. Not super dying, but... Alright, so is Kevin following me here? Don't know. Kevin? Yeah. Ooh, this must be the main break room. More batteries, yes please. Already wasted a shit ton of them. Alright, but here's two lockers. Here's a 50-50 chance of failure when we do this. Thank you. And now we have to hide. Now it's 50-50 if he completely bashes us or not. Potentially. Although I... Hmm. I don't even know if he would come here. I mean, there's a lot of sound effects happening. <laughs> Might be, but I don't know. And now it's like too late to check oh oh yeah he did he did come here yeah <laughs> i was i was correct here they're gonna be the all right let's get ready to run i'm just gonna guess he's yeah and of course they don't check both lockers or are you is he nope nope you didn't all right 
Uh, that's uh, not super surprising. Here, just it's two lockers. Just shake all of them. <laughs> or you know, ah, uh, well, yeah. So there's things, but they're not really the most sane people, and they're not out to specific. They're not specifically out to fucking get you. Otherwise, there's a lot of ways they could have done that. Um, but you know, whatever. It's just good for me that he doesn't do that. Emily's he's gonna leave. Return to his. Uh... Hello, Kevin. Why this music or like this background thing? Wait, what? Oh, Kevin, I can't with you. Why? Why are you here? Why are you here, Kevin? Kevin. <laughs> I'm so disappointed in you. Alright, I can see. Kevin, I can't see you from here. Yeah, I know my battery's getting low, mate. Alright, if he comes towards me again, I'm just gonna fucking go for it because what the fuck am I supposed to do? Oh, for the love of God. Come on. Really? Well, hopefully I can hide here somewhere. Oh, nice. They gave me a. Alright, well, get ready to run potentially. Here we go. Running. Let me reload first. Oh, cool. <clears throat> nice. Alright. Should I just run and just make a break for it? Yeah, let's do that. Let's be ballsy, man. Just Kevin. Oh, Jesus, your hand's scaring me, mate. Stop doing that. Wait, where the fuck is this? This where I was? Maybe. Alright, Kevin, I'm coming. I'm coming out to play. Don't be, uh, don't be a douche. Please. I don't know where you are and I don't hear you, so... Just don't be a douche, alright? And we're cool. So, let's see here. Basically, fucking what the fuck? Here we go, illuminated. I got a trophy for that one. And now I can. Where the fuck is this? Yeah, oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Kevin solved. And we got light restored somewhere. Or just to the whole building, I don't know. You know, now we're gonna deal with muscle face. Was it you I came breathing or? I don't know. I think he is there. What was I supposed to do now? Return security control to unlock the main doors. Right. Um Yeah about that one. It's right there and I know it's gonna sort of happen. And I don't have a strategy for this, uh, because like this is the most that I know of the game. Ugh. Game, are you gonna fuck with me here? Because like... Oh, uh, no wait a minute, that's not here actually. Are you gonna... Turn off muscle face or... I hid in that one last time, let's hide in that one this time. Might be different. I should have closed the door. Alright, it doesn't matter. Ouch. Or maybe I'm sorry, my son. it didn't matter that I should have closed I the door. Want to have to do this to you. I mean, I saw what you did. But you can't leave. Not yet. There is so much yet for you to witness. I mean, yeah. Will but... you see it? No, here we Can go. You? Our lord, Our the military? war rider. Tearing his truth into the unbelievers. Oh, okay. Well, the only way out of this place is the truth. Hmm. Accept the gospel. Bye. All doors will open before you. All right. Yeah, sure. 
Okay, yeah. Uh, I, I thought something else was gonna happen. I thought a chase uh, great thing was gonna happen. Man, I need to be careful. Three shores might just pop out from nowhere <laughs> without me concentrating. All right, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hmm. No, I'm familiar now. Uh, this is like a reset thing, so that's cool. I can, I can deal with this. This is fine. I got like kind of scared. Oh no, I got kind of scared twice, and there was the, the screaming from him seeing the body because I. But although I already knew about the body, and his hand being placed on the fucking door frame. Remember, then also only add it to your notebook when your camera recorder is raised to record events. Oh right, they left me with my recorder. Ah, oh, it said that, so I could just do that. You pick it up immediately. I can hide under the bed. All right. Well, there's gonna be chase, uh, chase stuffs, anyways. Does this door not have a fucking? All right. You. All right. Interesting. Yes. Uh, you keep doing that, buddy. Let's check this. Uh, no notes. Wait a minute. Here's the. Thing. The documents are are grey, the west floor is white. I wonder about that one. Why it is like that. No, wrong notes. Father Martin's cell. Oh my god. The priest, Father Martin. How do you know that? Did he mention that? Brought me here to show me something. Thinks I'm gonna be a witness for whatever batshit crazy he's trying to sell me. This Dr. Vernick is at the center of whatever went wrong here. He died more than 10 years ago. Rest in peace, says the blood on the wall. Well, I don't know if he if it is gonna happen, but it would be a nice thing if, if the main character went slowly and slowly more insane in his notes. I don't remember if he does that. I think he keeps some sanity <laughs> to write notes, but he might actually. Oh, wait a minute, the notes are doing that as well. Whiten them, great dials, I don't know. I don't know, but that's gonna be... That, that's a good part to stop. It's getting kinda late, you know, as I'm recording this, so... Uh, I'll just stop that. So yeah, I'll potentially do a video, a video or two. I'm, I don't know how I'm gonna format it. We'll see. You know, you'll see if this is a single part or if it's not a single part. Uh, so I'll see. I'll do it but uh, yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video